Hello Cancer and welcome to your July 2023 birthday bonus. All right Cancer, let's get into it. I just spent some time getting into your energy and I heard something very interesting. Spirit said someone is super nervous to approach you. They have so much to tell you and they're not sure how you'll take it but hope you are open-minded and understanding. Um, I heard uh, caught up in a web. Now it, it seems to me that that's a snippet from a song. Um, Shattered Dreams? Johnny Hates Jazz? I think? It's old, like really old. It's probably 80s. Um, <laughs> the last thing I heard Cancer is this person disappeared from your life to iron things out and now they're prepared to come back. So let's see what's going on in their life and what you need to know at this time. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. This person may have had a heart opening. Maybe they've gone through something really difficult. They're getting in touch with their emotions. All right, let's see what plays out for you, Cancer. What do you need to know? What do you need to know? They're mustering up the confidence to contact you. That's what I'm feeling with the third chakra energy. Power, will, confidence. We have patience, waiting for the right time. <laughs> oh, look at Sword raised. Oh, Cancer. Magician and the mirror. Are they coming in to clear up something that has been, okay, I just heard vague, ambiguous. We have adjacent possibilities. Mm, okay, one more time. Yeah, they're, they're, Clearly, they're needing to muster up the courage to approach you, Cancer. Bottom of the deck, door to spirit. This person wants another chance. And I'm almost getting with this adjacent possibilities. You've closed the door on this a few times. I don't know. It, it's like the nine lives of relationships. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what they did, but we're about to find out. So let's take a look at your person's energy. Clearly, they're feeling anxiety because um, I don't know if, if you have had some sort of history with this person that hasn't been good. You've had a history of, you know, triggering one another. It's been hostile. They don't want that. That's kind of what I'm getting. Your person's energy, Cancer. What do you need to know about this? First breath, beginner's mind. I'm feeling from that they want a fresh start with you. Okay, we have overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. Benefactor, grace and generosity. Skywriting, the fates, and horseman, herald of change. Well, hmm. I think they've gone through something that has been difficult for them and was a point of contention between the two of you in the past. I'm, I'm getting a, a very 3D message that perhaps there is something about their work that has changed. They could have um, been through a tough time financially they may be coming, I don't know why I'm getting this, this is, this is maybe specific, but I'm feeling like they're coming to pay you back for something or to reciprocate in some manner if they didn't before. Cosmic womb, divine feminine, fools embrace transmuting pain, preparations come to fruition. Yeah, they're coming back. They're coming back, and I feel like they're coming back to iron things out with you, to make it right with you. And, and I feel like you have maybe 
either expected this or you had hoped for this, but you needed this person to experience whatever they were going through to maybe shift their mindset in a way. Okay. Let's just scoot these over and see who you're connected to. What about this relationship? What does Cancer need to know about the person they're connecting to? Lessons of Uranus. No expectation is the best expectation to have. Okay, we have completion and it's in reverse. And I'm hearing maybe this isn't over. Divine Masculine. Perseverance. Obstacles are blessed opportunities of growth. Both partners have the desire and will to overcome. Lessons of Jupiter. Align, demonstrate, and express the values and beliefs you've learned about love. Be open to new ways. The results are healing and expansion. They're coming back. It's not over. And, and I am getting with this Lessons of Jupiter, which is really about growth, expansion. It can even represent something um, auspicious regarding work and finances and abundance. You know, it could be that whatever they were ironing out, which was a point of contention between the two of you, was their own stability. If, if it's not simply that, and, and it probably isn't, we're going to get into what have they been through. Let's take a look at their life. Tell us about Cancer's person. Ooh, wow, Ten of Swords. Well, they've been through it, whatever it's been. They perhaps have been betrayed. We have the Ten of Cups. Maybe they betrayed you. Let's see. What has Cancer's person been through? What do they need to know in preparation for this? Look at that. Interesting. Grace and generosity. They might have been in a situation where they were... Um, giving to others, depleted perhaps, if this is about generosity. We have the world, the hanged man, the two of wands, the five of pentacles. I saw that while I was shuffling. I wondered if it would come out. And temperance and the knight of pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the fool. Why am I hearing that song? Now I'm hearing it. It's playing in my head. Caught up in a web. Caught up in a web of lies in the song. Now, you know, I don't know if that applies, but for some reason they keep replaying that song in my head. But it could be that something's come to an end. If this is past energy, it could be that your relationship was... Um, you know, not reciprocal, and you walked away or they walked away. I feel like the choice that presented, presented itself for this person meant that they had to take some time to, to really reflect, hanged man, temperance. If this was a pattern of behavior for them, I think that they are slowly making their way back to you to either... I don't know, explain things, give back to you in some way, make something clear if it wasn't clear. You might have felt that um, this person was, I don't know, up to no good. I'm hearing double life. Did someone think that their person was just so absent or so... <laughs> Interesting, I heard in my head not present maybe they were in your life but really not engaged 
that y you assume the worst? I, don't, I mean, I don't know. So let's get a couple clarifiers. Why the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune? Lovers, Hanged Man. Let's get one on the Queen of Pentacles. They could have been <laughs> the Six of Pentacles and there's the lovers again. Okay, they could have been in a connection that was draining them. They could have been um, settling matters with another person, a long-term partner. They could have had a partner who was taking from them, I heard. Okay, this is crazy. Let's look at the world. Well, that popped out again. Was your person married? I mean, usually you know what your person's up to. Let's look at the world. If there was a choice that was made in a relationship, I feel like it's done. And I mean, it's like final done. And you might have been on the outskirts of this. I, I still can't imagine you had no clue. But let's look at the hanged man. I just saw 1111. Hanged man. King of Swords, Ace of Cups. If your person is looking at your relationship differently now, I feel like they, they might be reflecting that their own stoic, cold, or detached manner pushed you away. Did they feel like they needed to give you their cup and they weren't willing to do that? I feel like there's an apology coming. This person's really burdened. Like, I can't believe we haven't seen the Ten of Wands, but they feel super burdened. So what is this crossroads? Two of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. One more. What is the decision they're making? Is this too... Wow. Divorce, perhaps. Death and the Hierophant. And the Ten of Swords, my goodness. I think that, wow. Yeah, they could be ending a commitment. It could be a job, it doesn't have to be. But we do have the Five of Pentacles showing up here. It could be something that they were, wow, justice. I was just about to say, it could be something that they were involved in. And, and it could even be something it could be something legal. It could be a contract that they were bound to. It's done. If this is about leaving a situation behind, I think they've done that. It's over. Death. The world. Certainly the Ten of Swords is a difficult ending, but something is going to be brought back into balance, either in their life or in your connection. Uh, let's look at Temperance. Three of Wands in reverse. They haven't been able to move on. And if they're getting in touch with their emotions, they're running deep. Wow, Four of Wands. The Star. They're making their way back to you. They disappeared to iron things out. They're coming back is what I heard. What are they prepared to do, Knight of Pentacles? It's, it maybe has taken a while. We have the Four of Swords. Uh, this landed sideways. Whoops. Okay, Judgment. This is an important decision, I feel, that is going to bring the two of you kind of out of this proverbial cold you find yourself. Okay, we have Strength, the Eight of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles wanting to approach you because they're a little bit 
stuck in their head. I think they're replaying something over and over. The divine might have pushed this person in some way. And, and if this is kind of a, a karmic situation that's being brought back to life, it's because there's unfinished business between the two of you. But I, I see a lot of major arcana here and it feels like the hands of fate have stepped in. I think your person wants to demonstrate a willingness to explain themselves and it's going to be really hard to approach you. Let, let's see, okay, different deck. What is it that weighs on their mind? What weighs on your person's mind? Wow. The fool and the devil. Whatever they were caught up in, I feel like they're, they're wanting to move on from it, but it's interesting how this, this fool is somehow, you know, tethered by something unhealthy. I also feel like this could be foolish behavior. We have, it's the hanged men, or I'm sorry, it's the chariot energy, but this is awareness. They've become self-aware. They might see how they acted was inappropriate, wrong, um, hurtful to you in some way. Yeah, uh, uh, it, uh, Spirit is saying again, fate, karma is at play with this. So what are they doing by reaching out to you? What are they demonstrating? I'm different now. I heard that straight up. I'm different now. What have they left behind? What have they left behind? What are they going to clear up? Wow. Okay, they were caught they were caught up in something. They want to know that you will understand what they have to say that came out in meditation. They have so much to tell you, not sure how you'll take it, hope you understand. What else? What are they leaving behind or ironing out? Wow, pride and ego, surrender, bottom of the deck, dark night of the soul. I think spirit pushed this person into awakening. We have mute, divine masculine. Top of the deck, balancing the scales. There's justice again. I don't know how this played out particularly between you and your person, but I have a feeling there is an element of misunderstanding they either were caught up in something and they're literally their hands were tied or you felt as though you were you got the short end of the stick in this situation based on something they did and and i don't know if they were too proud to explain something to you or if if they were just in a really unhealthy energy devil pride very egoic I, I, why do I feel like this person's hands were kind of slapped in a way? And I, you know, whatever that means. Whether you were, you know, played or taken advantage of or in the dark, whatever it is. I, I feel as though there's now a, a, an explanation. Is it a good one? I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a look at what they need to say to you. Where do I want to go with this? Yeah, let's just, let's pull out the truth deck. What they need to say to you. What's going to help iron this out for you, Cancer? What is it they want to express or explain that you may not have been aware of? Okay. 
Oh, wow. I heard five. Is that five more cards? Wow. Okay. Three, four, and five. Yep. Good golly. <laughs> okay. There they are. Have I lost you? Okay. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I was afraid to speak up. My work situation is changing. And I did pick that up, that there might have been some sort of a work commitment. Um, some sort of contract that's over. They got out of it. Wow. This is... Oof. I am tethered to this mess. I'm about to leave. One thing after another has turned my life upside down. And when I'm alone, I break down. This person has some serious anxiety about your relationship, whatever they've been through. Now, this is going to play out so many different ways for all of you, but what I'm getting is that their need to explain what was happening, maybe a situation and their hands were tied and they couldn't do anything about it. You may say, well, God, all you had to do was speak up. All you had to do was tell me. I would, I would have, like, give me credit for being more understanding than that. But instead, their approach to this might have either been, I don't know, to cut off to be so, you know, nervous and concerned that they shut down. This is a really bizarre reading, but I'm almost thinking whatever has to be ironed out just needs to be talked about. This person is really freaked out about saying whatever's on their mind. Now, if it's, I don't know, if it's just a, a toxic work situation, if, if it is, you know, something having to do with I mean, we have the Hierophant here, we have justice, the law, family, a spouse, uh, you know, another connection. The lovers is a choice. It doesn't have to be another person, but it could. They just need to speak up. They've been through, you know, a hard time, a really hard time. And I, whatever they are surrendering to, I think it's because the divine came into the situation and said, you know, make a choice, do this, break free, speak up, take a chance. I mean, whatever it is. And maybe they're, they're learning to hear that they're listening. So what is the energy around your person right now based on what they are planning to do? What's going on with them? They're hoping you'll understand. There's, you know, and for some of you, there could be a really simple explanation. This is sounding super dramatic. It may not be. New beginnings. Look at that. Starting over. Joy is fun. The divine all over this. The ascended masters. I, I feel like discovery. I feel like this is what you learn. This is what you find out. Your person is planning a fresh start. They want to break away from whatever it is that held them and kept you apart, maybe. Wow. Okay, wow. We have the honoring path, family, intuition and manifestation behind a mask. They've held some things back and it could be about family. I feel like you both need to trust in what you perceive to be the outcome of this and they're going to go on a, out on a limb and really just surrender this and put it all out there. 
And whatever you learn, whatever you receive, you should discern any truth from illusion, right? Because we have the magician in the mirror and behind a mask. So you're going to have to use your discernment in this situation. Let's take a look at their intention. Their intention, your person's intention with you, Cancer. How can we shorten the distance between us? This can be geographical, it can be emotional. You might have a huge void between you based on, you know, them disappearing. I'm sorry, I hurt you and also hurt myself in the process. Please forgive me. Holiday, let's unplug from the rest of the world. This person wants a fresh start with you. I feel like they couldn't, didn't, wouldn't, <laughs> however you want to, you know, fill in that blank, tell you exactly what was happening and it hurt you and they know it hurt you. And I feel like they realize that they have to have the strength to approach you and to, to break free from whatever it is that they've experienced in order for you to accept them back, to believe that they have good intentions. I don't know. Let's get one more. You make me want to be a better person. I'm inspired to improve myself. Wow. You have, um, you've changed your person in a big way. I feel like there's true remorse happening, but you know, you have to gauge what it was and what you're willing to accept or, you know, even if you understand, oh, okay, well, thank you for explaining to me. Use your judgment. You know, they may be very afraid of being judged, but it might be something so simple. And if they just explain it, it's almost like open it, open up and talk to me, right? Why didn't you tell me sooner? They're anticipating that's what you're going to say. So it, it could be that rather than confront whatever situation happened between you, they, they ghosted, but they've never been able to move on. And the divine may be saying it's time to make it right. What do you need to know from the divine's perspective? What are they prompting your person to do in this situation? What are they prompting your person to do? Okay, we have grieving. They're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. Wow. Toxicity. Their toxic friendships are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. Uh, they have the power to, to break away from whatever keeps them stuck. I mean, she's, she's literally not enclosed within these swords. She can break free. Slipped away. Though they never had you to them, you will always be the one that got away. They regret the chances they didn't take. Wow. Discovery. They saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down, left them feeling powerless and trapped. Well, yes. They sure did. So what does the divine want them to do to realize, you know, the error of their ways? Fool devil. Did they succumb to pressure from other people, a toxic environment, toxic friendships, even toxic family? And, you know, if, if this was a karmic situation for them, whatever it was, they're having to sit with that. I almost feel like the divine is saying, we would just like you to sit with that. Think about the past. Think about the consequences of your actions, whatever that is, or what you allowed other people to do. If this is truly, wow, I've been um, made the victim in this case, right? Take your power back. 
If it's the people around you, don't let them do that. Anything else? What does the divine want you to know your person is doing to rectify this? Divinely guided, you've met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. Their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. Your soul deserves better. Cancer, you know, you can, you can listen to this person, but you need to use discernment. If they have gone through this energy outside of your connection and it didn't happen with you, and this was, you know, a, a, a toxic relationship they were in, toxic friendships, toxic job, they lost you because of their choices and they're having to sit with that and it's it's uncomfortable and it's causing a lot of anxiety in their life what so what will they do next are they going to you know approach you to talk what comes next <laughs> the Four of Swords. Rest and rejuvenate. There's temperance again. Trapped in fear again. They're stuck. They're stuck. When they get unstuck, when they have normalized after whatever event has taken place, is there going to be any interaction? between cancer and their person. The golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love, bombing, and the runner. They're not ready to face things. So they keep themselves here rather than opening up to you. Oh my goodness, what else would they like to say? Let's take a look at this. Speak my love language. It could be that the two of you look at relationships differently, that your person responds to a certain type of love language and you respond to something completely different. And so you might be really struggling to meet in the middle. We're on two different paths. Wow. So, wow, Cancer. I was expecting them to come forward and really open up. And maybe they're just not ready yet. They may feel that the two of you met for a season, a reason, and they're just, you know, unwilling to face their fears and <laughs> look at that listening to ego. Yeah, they're just not willing to let go of their ego. What's deep in their heart about you? Because action and emotion can differ. People can love somebody all day long, but choose not to do anything about it. I feel like that's what this is. How does your person feel about you? cancer. Okay. Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. Okay, we have I love you. Wow. Rest and relaxation is essential. Leap of faith. Okay, <laughs> well, it's mixed signals for sure. I, they either want to get away from someone who has caused this and they're ready to leave another relationship because this can be outside of your connection, as I said. They could be really stuck in one heck of a toxic connection. And it's been difficult for them to extricate themselves from that. And so you're in separation. 
and you know they've been unwilling to move on. I mean, we have justice here. It could be that they even found out that the people around them have done things, said things, you know, caused things that have turned their life upside down and they're trying to do what's right. So all of this could be outside of your connection. But I feel, you know, this we're on two different paths. There is a growing chasm between two people. And if they love you and are willing to take a leap of faith with you, I feel like the very first thing they need to do is share exactly what's been going on because I feel like you've been in the dark. What is Spirit's recommendation to you, Cancer? What should you do? Whoa. Too many. Inner wisdom. Draw on what you've experienced in the past for guidance in the present. Transcending inner guidance. Embrace. Giving to you noise. Trust. Broken into. All right. I don't know what was meant to come out, so let's just stick them back in the deck. Try that again. Spirit's advice for you in this connection. We come into connection with our soulmates to learn and evolve. Someone cannot bypass their lesson. Wow. Step back. A circumstance needs time to work itself out. I feel like they're going through it and I feel like they're concerned. You have opportunities to move on. And um, they have to really take their life by the scruff of the neck or another person maybe. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so let's see what Spirit wants you to know about the long term. What do you need to know about this connection long term? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You deserve love. Let your friends help you. Wow. I'm getting a mixed bag of energies with this. It's almost like, why would you keep yourself in a situation that didn't give back to you? For some of you, um, you're on a path to meet someone else. If this is what they're going through, they're leaving a relationship that is one-sided, that depletes them. They have been going it alone. Let's get one more. Future of this relationship. This is, yeah, this is a hard lesson. I'm hearing from Spirit that this was a tough one and it's more entangled than what's coming out in the cards. For some of you, you may move on. New love is on the horizon of your life. We have passion. Stay optimistic, express your love, getting to know each other, engagement. So, you know, some of you, look at that, release your ex. I do feel like there is someone lingering who shouldn't be there any longer. And for those of you who resonate that that's this person and you're ready to walk away from it, you're going to walk right into someone new. If that resonates for you, let's take a look at where you'll meet and your level of compatibility. For those Cancerians who are moving on from this crazy situation, how will they meet this new love? And what is the level of compatibility? Okay. We have resilient. Your relationship may be faced with many challenges, but you may seem to bounce back to each other. Challenges outside your relationship are overcome through mutual support. We have abroad. Interesting. Now, that can just indicate a cultural difference. Some of you may be meeting someone from another country or continent on vacation, perhaps. And then we have winter. Right now, Southern Hemisphere in six months, Northern Hemisphere. Winter may be significant. Anything else? New love 
chance meeting. Wow. Well, there you go. When you least expect it, Cancer. Let's get some advice for you. Advice for Cancer regarding what they've been through in this situation and how to move forward. This is a very auspicious time. The outcome will bring happiness and prosperity. Your opinions in this situation do matter. Speak up and be heard. Vulnerability is strength. Keep a journal of your thoughts, dreams, and other epiphanies. I feel like spirit is trying to send you a message. And that could be because there's a lack of communication or information in this connection. So pay attention to what spirit is saying. Yeah, look at that. Although you don't see it, there's a divine plan at work. So something is being orchestrated. Someone has overstepped. Healthy boundaries need to be drawn. Yeah, there's been a big lesson in this. Whatever. For whomever. So if you know that not to be true for your connection, they're coming back to tell you that they've been through it with someone else and they're out of there. Okay, Cancer. I hope this was helpful. Um, kind of a tough reading, but it is what needed to come out. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for being here and I will see you for August readings. Take care.